Hello everyone, so have you always wanted to be a rolling ball of doom? Have you always wanted to basically armor strip, apply viral, apply toxin, do incredible amounts of damage and survive basically anything in Steel Path? Well, the Warframe Grindle is the Warframe for you. I'm your lovely host, the Gaming Weasel, and let's get straight into this. Now, Grindle has been reworked in the Lewis Prey update, and I have to say, he has become one of my my favorite warframes in the game especially inside a steel path this guy cannot freaking die i basically played around like a fool with him being a very bad grendel player and honestly i survived basically tons and tons of enemies the gameplay that you will see further on is the new game mode level 180 to 200 i didn't have any issues he just basically tanked all of it i ran out of energy multiple times i wasn't able to activate my abilities but yeah Yet he doesn't freaking die. Nonetheless, talking about abilities. Feast, his first ability, allowing you to swallow up, up to 5 enemies, and this will give you 250 armor per enemy inside of your stomach. Keep in mind that you're gonna do 2% damage per second to these enemies, but you're gonna try to keep them in your belly as long as you possibly can, just so you get that armor boost. And always try to replenish uh, your enemies inside of your belly as much as you possibly can. Now, the second ability, Nourish, basically regenerates your health, applies viral damage to your weapons as well, uh, enemies that are attacked by Grendel suffer from viral damage as well, energy sources will be provided with more energy, and also this applies to your allies as well. Then, the second ability, or I guess the uh, third ability, Pulverize, it requires no energy to cast, so that's pretty cool, and this is gonna turn you into the Ball of Doom. Basically, colliding with enemies or ground sounding of enemies will do impact damage and you have a 100% guaranteed impact status proc when you do a ground slam. You can also double jump, they have buffed the movement, increased the movement, made it much much better to control him in this form and honestly that is very very cool and there's also no more energy uh, consumption, you basically just activate this ability, roll around and do incredible amounts of damage. Now you might be saying well impact is not that good but keep in mind you have your fourth ability. Your fourth ability is regurgitate and basically you're gonna launch an enemy and what you're going to do is armor strip as well. Keep in mind your third ability also armor strips the enemy the enemies that you hit, so keep that in mind. Uh, also, your fourth ability, as I said, will reduce enemy armor, armor strip enemies. It will apply toxin. So basically doing a lot, and I do mean a lot of damage to enemies. This is gonna be your main damage ability. Honestly, I love the way he's been reworked. Now, a couple of little things that I want you guys to know. Uh, the build looks like this. I basically stacked up as much range and survivability as I possibly can. The Warframe itself is very survivable, but with this build... I will tell you, and I will guarantee it, you will not die. You can shield gay with him, you don't have to. If you don't, uh, maybe if you don't have the, the, I guess, the Umbral Formo or just the resources to invest into him, then yeah, sure, you can try. But nonetheless, it is very, very amazing. For the aura, we have Corrosive Projection, Brief Respite if you're gonna do shield gating, uh, Augur Reach, we have also Overextended and Stretch for Ranged, we have a Flow uh, for Extra Energy, Adaptation for that extra extra survivability and also the umbral set for the arcanes we have arcane blessing which is a new arcane every time you pick up a health orb you're going to get uh, an extra 16 health sacking up to 50 times so that is going to be i think 800 health on the top of my head and most augmented just to increase the power strength now uh, another thing i do have archon shards as well i have three for uh, power strength so that's a 30% power strength. I have one for casting speed, or actually effectiveness of energy orbs, so that's going to be very good. And a blue one for extra health. Now, the blue one could be changed out for energy max, uh, so that would maybe, you know, help you out a little bit. But other than that, that pretty much stays the same. Honestly, what is the game plan with Grendel? The gameplay with Grendel is going to basically be 
you know, consume some enemies, activate your second ability, go inside your third ability, armor strip anything that you hit, and then regurgitate. And just basically spew out enemies like there's no tomorrow, consume more enemies, roll around, and basically just be unkillable. And basically that is the playstyle of Grendel. I have played him for uh, 16 minutes here in the gameplay, in the new game mode. I have played him in Steel Pass, just normal missions in, in Survival Mod on... on uh, in the void and honestly it's just like it's so difficult to kill him like when i activate for example the life support when it runs out you cannot kill him yes sometimes you will have to switch out out of your third ability uh, just because of the acolyte itself because you can do decent damage to the acolyte uh, with your fourth ability but i just prefer switching out and going to my arcoplasmor which the build is up on the screen right now uh, also there seems to be a bug with eximus units you can ship their armor but their overguard stays. I think that is a bug. I think I heard it on someone's video or just read it somewhere that this shouldn't be like that. You should probably remove the overguard. Uh, and with the overguard active on uh, the Eximus units, you cannot basically you cannot kill them inside of your third form so you have to switch out of your third form then you you know use your gun but if you're going to use the arcoplasma or, or any kind of i guess aoe weapon or just weapon in general you should be able to kill them with you know, pretty much a lot of ease because they do not have armor if of course you did armor strip them a couple of things that might make it a little bit i guess difficult in quotation marks uh, of course uh, you have to keep in mind that we do have the the guys with the bubbles i forgot what they're called actually like at the top of my head that remove your abilities uh without even your second ability activated nourishment honestly you still cannot die like i i, I forgot to activate a couple times and you still won't die so yeah basically what i wanted to say in total the grendel is amazing now i love grendel i i can't i'm looking forward to playing him much much more and i do really enjoy him now uh, hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys uh, you know like the video like the rework everything leave it in the comment section below on what you think uh, this has been the gaming weasel and i will see you guys on the next one it has been me over and out